for starters, we love hiring accounts at Flowcast, obviously. All of us here are accounts. We've all done things that are not things we majored in and we figured it out. So I think we can be really great at what we do. And yeah, it's about aligning like personality and, and thought process with, with the right role. So BDR stands for business development rep. That's the entry level sales job at Flowcast. As you would expect for sales, you want to be someone who's extroverted, you know, really social, good at communicating with people, happy to talk on the phone. You have no problems with that and really driven and motivated and you want to get, get stuff done and, and work with a sense of urgency. I think that's what makes the best sales reps. There's a big misconception around sales. There's there's the whole like selling ice to an Eskimo type thing, but that's not that's not what you're here to do. When you do sales, it's actually the best sales reps ask the most questions. So you're doing a lot of discovery. You'll get a prospect on the phone. You know, Stefan, you probably started by chatting with one of our BDRs at some point. I hope they ask you some questions around yep. your accounting operations and how your month end close and reconciliations and audit were. They're trying to uncover any pain points you might have and then see if you have pain points that we could solve with our software. If we are talking to you and you say, yeah, yeah, I have some problems with the month end close or, oh, that audit sucked, that thing didn't tie out and that really hit us, then they would introduce you to the account executive who then is the sales rep who runs the demo, understands your pain points in a little more detail and then tries to like map out how our solution could help you with those those challenges. That's the really common promotion path for the BDR role. So you come in, you do BDR for 12, 18, 24 months, something like that. And then you get the opportunity to interview for different jobs. And the most common path is through the account executive role. You become a sales rep, make a lot of money, a lot more than you're gonna make in uh, accounting. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, one of the proudest things I have is when I see you know, 26 year olds around here making more money than the partners that they were working for two years ago. That's like yep. a very cool dynamic to see around here. Accounting really sets you up to be a hard worker in a lot of ways, be a problem solver, be inquisitive, be organized. That's not a complete like skill set for, you know, being successful long term in business. Being a BDR really teaches you how to reach out to people that are difficult to work with that don't want to hear from you and bridge that gap to a wand of understanding and seeing if you can actually help them or not, which is incredibly important if you want to leave, lead an accounting or finance organization in the future, being able to reach out to the different business leaders that do not want to talk to an organization. That is a skill set you can learn as a BDR that you will not learn traditionally at, in your role as an accountant. I would say if you have um, you know, any entrepreneurial aspirations, I think the BDR group is particularly impactful. And I've noticed we've had We've had a few people come to Flowcast and, and leave to go start their own companies and they all happen to be former Hell yeah. BDRs. That's yeah. the and Hell yeah. It's something where it gets you out of your comfort zone. Like you're you're emailing, you're cold calling. It's not natural to a lot mm -hmm. of people, but the reality is to start a business, that's the stuff you do. I'm a yep. I'm a professional BDR, but just with a bigger title than that. At the end of the day, I'm always trying to, you know convince someone to do something <laughs> yep, that we need to move forward as a business and constantly developing this business. And so it's the, the best skill set if you have like bigger, if you have like entrepreneurial aspirations. Yeah.